Hi, Tony Knight Dog Listener here, and this is my first ever Facebook live post. I hope I get it right. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's a, an idea that, well, it's something that's come to me recently because if you look for dog trainers, and just try it after you've watched this, okay? Go on the internet and type in on a search engine, not in, you know, not in particular, don't have to begin with G, um, type in dog trainer and see how many posts come up. There are millions and millions. And frankly, if you've got a problem with your dog, knowing where to turn is a pretty stressful experience in itself. So how do you know the difference between a good dog trainer and a bad dog trainer? The first place where you can start to wheedle out the wheat from the chaff, so to speak, is if you go on their sites or you know you know of their, their methods and you meet a dog trainer who, who will recommend using any kind of negative force or you know restraint, domination, aggression, pain, you know what, if, they, if you feel they do that, then walk away and find someone else. There are plenty of people out there who will use more positive methods and calm methods. And that's the most important thing. If you've got a dog that's stressed or aggressive or anxious you know, and stressing you out, the last thing you need is to wrap that up and do something that I'm sure you would rather not doing. I'd rather not be doing. Sorry, this is live. <laughs> you know, the thing is, you know, no dog owner in their right mind, or dog parent, dog guardian, no sane person would want to harm someone they love. And I understand sometimes if people feel forced down that, that path, you know, frustration can lead to people doing all kinds of things that they really wouldn't rather be doing. And if a circle expert says, oh yeah, you do this and the dog will remember something, and that's the way you learn. Do you know what? When I was at school, I remember the difference between good teachers and bad teachers. And maybe you do too. And the bad teachers, you didn't really learn from. If, any, if you're anything like me, what you did was kept your head down, hoping they wouldn't single you out, and just get through that person's lesson unscathed. It wasn't necessarily a great learning experience. If you want to learn, and you want to learn well, you've got to be in a good frame of mind to do it. So anybody that suggests using force, negativity, domination, aggression, pain, run away quickly and go and find someone who can do the job in a way that you want to do and that your dog would want as well. Because how else are we going to learn unless it's done in a positive way? Negativity does not help learning. It can create fear, oh yeah, but it doesn't make the learning experience really very pleasurable and actually can traumatize even more. So I hope you found that useful. Um, as you may know, if those of you who know me, you'll know that uh, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you might have started to see the daffodils coming out and you think, I think Tony might be back soon and you'd be right. Uh, I'm currently in Australia and I have been throughout the winter uh, because I love the sunshine, uh, but I'm only here for another couple of weeks. So I'm going to keep myself busy in Melbourne and Sydney before then, but then I fly back to Europe and I'll be running classes and courses all over the place, England, Scotland, Wales, France, Finland, Sweden, Holland, and I'm even going to New York for a month, which is going to be really exciting. Now, I do classes and I do courses where I help people to understand, respect, and get the changes they would like in their dogs in a positive and kind way, in a way that the dog actually understands well, as well, and it works. That's the most important thing. If you would like some information on maybe coming to work with me on one of my classes or coming to study with me in, on my courses, then all you've got to do is type the word info down here. I think it should be down here below this film in the little, you know, the box. And I shall get some information back to you. And I look forward to hopefully meeting you and helping you understand and respect and get the relationship with your dog that you've always dreamed of. So that's my first live video. Didn't make, make that many mistakes. Hopefully we'll do another one soon. That's all from me. Thanks for listening. Now do I turn it off?